The McShem Foundation is Virginia's leading peer-to-peer -peer recovery community organization. So if you or a loved one is struggling with addiction, let us get you connected. Build your self-esteem and lead you to a solid foundation in your recovery. Check us out. Hello, everybody. A um, couple things. I tried to get here early so he could hurry up and put me up. Um, and, and I was happy when the other candidates were showing up late. And by God, they just started showing up. Um, and so I had to listen to all of that rhetoric. But never mind. Um, but what's, what was really good is the opportunity that I had just now. Because what I really enjoy, and, and, and Hopefully you don't consider this statement rhetoric, but what I really enjoyed, and the reason why I like to sit on John's, uh, come in John's office and quote unquote, sit on the couch and listen to him run his mouth, um, <laughs> is, is I learn a lot from him, believe it or not. I, I, I really do, I learn uh, as, I, as I listen. And, you know, hearing the elected officials, I probably could give their speeches for them. I know what each one of them will say. But hearing you, Tom, um, was the highlight of my day so far. Um, as Ben mentioned, and, and, and each of the candidates, and, and of course Tom has mentioned that we all have been impacted uh, in some form or fashion, uh, whether it's a brother, it's a sister, um, what, what, we all have been impacted. Um, and I believe that everybody wants to do something. Um, my question is, what is that something? Um, everyone, and that's why my, uh, you know, I had a couple suggestions that I share with John later about changing the format of this uh, so that you can ask some direct questions. I think it would be nice if there was a desk right here with John sitting behind it like uh, uh, Jay Leno. <laughs> and the, you know, a candidate or two sitting there and you asking them the questions, giving them an opportunity to talk, but then also kind of bringing them back and saying, what happened when I was at the General Assembly at a, a subcommittee meeting, and this is John talking, um, believe it or not. What happened when I had that bill and you all voted against it in subcommittee? It didn't even get to see committee or or the House floor. It's nice for us to talk about what they, what, I say they like I'm not an elected official, but <laughs> what we want to talk about. But it's very important for us to list those things that we want the legislature to do. Are you with us or are you not? Because what happens is, and, and, and I, I didn't expect to talk, uh, speak on that. I'm supposed to talk about how r great Ralph is. And he is great. <laughs> he is great. But, but, what, we, but we, what we need to do is, is have that list of what we want from our elected officials from the legislature. How are you going to vote for it? Because what happens, this is the game that, that's played in the General Assembly. Things that they don't want everybody to vote on is killed in subcommittee. That way, only five to ten individuals have to vote no for it, as opposed to 100 people getting being on record. And so one of the things I'll, uh, I, I whispered over to, to, to John, and I'm going to walk over here because hopefully somebody will take a picture that I can post to my Facebook page. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Facebook is in Richmond now, so hey, we have to show love. Um, and and, and so, 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 so they vote, and they don't have to, 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 to vote collectively. And so one of the things I also suggested is you all come up with a questionnaire uh, that you send out to the candidates and have each candidate on record as it relates to their position on, on, on our legislation. Um, but um, I did, when, when he said I was filling in for, for Ralph, uh, you got the bigger version. Um, and, and listen, but really, I am, I hold a lot of weight in this Commonwealth. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you get a scale, put it right there, I'll show you. Um, but no, in all seriousness, I really, really appreciate the opportunity to, to just address you and just uh, say that we are 
um, listening we are. It's, it's one thing to make time to talk, but it's another time, thing to make time to listen. And I know both sides of the aisle uh, is listening to a number of you. I see a number of individuals that are influential uh, as it relates to uh, fighting this disorder and the usage. But it's important for us to continue to, to, to have the dialogue, for you all to continue to show up to the General Assembly and show up to our offices and call us um, off session so that we can plan accordingly. And uh, John, I'm not going to talk much longer. <laughs> You're good, man. I'm sure they. <laughs> yeah. But you know, the other thing I thought, I said, you know what? A lot of these people probably don't want to hear this rhetoric either. They probably don't like hearing politicians go on for 15 minutes nonstop. But it speaks volumes to how much you care about this issue that you're willing to sit here and listen to it. And so, so I really, really want to say thank you for being here.